Welcome to Water Baby Tarot. This is the December crystal healing video for air signs. So for Gemini's, Libras, and Aquarians. It's actually the third time I'm doing this video. Um, uh, the first time I had a weird glitch and I didn't want to risk it because I saw that happening on a couple other of my videos. And then the second time I got really dizzy when I started doing you, Aqua. I was like, oh God, okay. So took a little break. And now I'm back. So let's go ahead and get into this. So for those who are new to uh, these videos that I do, I basically use the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle deck to see the crystals that are recommended for you for the month of December. And then I go ahead and pull some tarot cards. I know, three swords at the bottom. That came out in Aquas, by the way. We'll see if it comes out again. Um, I use the uh, tarot deck to see why you need the crystals. I don't usually go into a whole lot of detail. Whatever comes to me intuitively and from the cards is what I give out. But if I need, feel the need to clarify, I will. It's happened a few times, okay? Um, I do always read the descriptions for each of the crystals because these are very general readings okay and I don't want to recommend you go and go out and get crystals if you don't really need them so basically listen to the descriptions if you feel like it resonates with you then by all means go out and get your crystal on oh that can help for aqua okay we'll get we'll see if it comes out again um but okay I know I'm just playing with the cards and I'm just like all over the place today anyway so let's go ahead and get into this if you don't want to buy crystals but you like this deck you can use the cards instead of the crystals okay anyway so Gemini Libra Aquarius Gemini Libra Aquarius you know the second video I didn't get to do Gemini so we're gonna start with Gemini we're gonna start with Gemini's <sighs> Gemini 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 what crystals do my Geminis need? I'm not taking that. Wow, these, this deck is really talking. <sighs> Give me a second. Okay. What crystals do my Geminis need for the month of December? What crystals do my Geminis need for the month of December? What crystals do my Geminis need for the month of December? What crystals do my Geminis need for the month of December? Ooh, Geminis. <laughs> uh, that's a very weird feeling. Uh, it's 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 adrenaline. That, yeah, that's what it is. It's adrenaline. You're going to be getting an adrenaline rush in December. Uh, it feels good and it feels weird at the same time. It's kind of like butterflies meets like a big pit in your stomach is kind of how that feels so Gemini's I think you're coming to something that's really exciting or you're starting something exciting or you're meeting someone who's getting you excited um but then there's like this weird pit in your stomach and I think it's just anxiety like coming across something that's like really good and really awesome but maybe kind of like oh shit this is really awesome you know kind of scaring you at the same time that's interesting uh what crystals do my Gemini's need for the month of December uh -huh. It's making my belly all hot. What crystals do my Geminis need for the month of December? What crystals do my Geminis need for the month of December? Let's see here. Oh, Chrysocola. Very, very nice. Um, it's so funny because I was going <laughs> to, I was about to say maybe uh, Malachite because I was seeing a green stone, but no, Chrysocola. They look very similar, actually. Malachite and Chrysocola, very similar coloring there. Let's see what else wants to come out. Gemini's is interesting. I'm getting a little bit of a confidence issue with you here. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of a confidence issue. We'll see what um, the description has to say for Chris Acola, But yeah, I'm getting a confidence issue, like needing to align, needing to know that what you feel is right. Interesting. Needing to know that what you feel is right and that you can take on whatever you need to take on. Oh, Bumblebee Jasper. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> Gemini's, I'm, I'm sorry. This actually came out for you in the very first one that I did. Um, that and Kim... I can't ever say it. Kambaba? Kambaba Jasper. Yeah, a lot of J only Jasper ones come out. Uh, Carn Carnelian? I can't pronounce it. Carnelian just came out. Yeah, I'm getting confidence. I'm getting a need to trust your emotions. Your emotions specifically more so than your head. Get out of your head, Gemini. I think you're in your head a little bit too much on something because it's exciting, but you're really anxious at the same time. Trust what you feel. What you feel is right. What you're feeling, not thinking, what you're feeling emotionally is correct here, okay? I'm also getting that you really need to protect, um, oh, okay. You really need to protect yourself from other people right now. I feel like you're being easily influenced by other people's energies and opinions about this thing, this person, this opportunity. It's up to you. The decision's up to yours on how you handle it, but it is positive. Don't overthink it. Trust what you're actually feeling here, okay? 
A lot of sacral energy too. A lot of sacral energy. This could definitely be a romantic situation. Because I felt like those like, it almost like bad butterflies is kind of what it felt like. What other crystals do my Geminis need for the month of December? Oh, Geminis, you got a lot of crystals out here. This feels big. It could be really big for you. Priscilla Bluestone is the last one out. For some of you, this anxiety might affect your health. So please, 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 like physical health. So please make sure you're checking in on yourself with that. Oh, <laughs> it's about to pull some cards before even reading in the descriptions of the crystals. I'm sorry, guys. I know. I'm like, a lot of quick energy going on here, Geminis. I think I'm just in your energy and you're excited and your adrenaline's rushing and I'm like trying to pull back. <laughs> I'm trying to pull back your energy here. Chrysocola. Self-love, tranquil and sustaining. Chrysocola encourages you to remain serene and strong during change or challenge. Dissolving destructive emotional programming, it increases energy assimilation. You have infinite capacity for forgiveness. Love yourself, Gemini. Love yourself. If you cannot accept yourself, you cannot give love or accept the love of others. To heal your emotional black hole, Jesus. <laughs> to heal your emotional black hole, connect to the universal love that is inside you. It never runs out. You can then give love out to the world and receive it in a never-ending flow. Forgive yourself. Oh, geez, Gemini. Accept with equanimity what you cannot change. Let go of your hurt and rectify situations that can be healed. Be magnanimous. Remain impartial and speak your own truth, but recognize when to keep silent. Magical rituals may keep you chained to the past. There may be past life trauma to heal around being a woman. Hmm. Bitterness of self-doubt have no place in well-being. It is good to nourish your body with self-love and gentleness. The frequency of the sun is earthy. It's great for all the chakras, for Taurians, Geminis, and Virgos, and for loving and valuing yourself. Oh, yeah, gems. Whatever this is, whatever the positive thing is, just know that you got it. It's yours, okay? It's yours, and go with your feelings, not your head. Bo oh, jeez. Bumblebee Jasper. Trust. <laughs> Bumblebee Jasper's startling colors instill a new vibration. The stone stimulates new projects, bring you, uh, bringing you the message that you must have honesty in your life. You are a divine being with immense inner riches, holding the bright, energizing light of the sun. You are born to carry out a specific task. Charismatic, you naturally attract people. You have inner strength and courageously go where others do not dare. Harvest your resources and put them to work to heal this ease. A moment of fertilization. You're being open to new possibilities. Remember that the bee is not aerodynamically designed to fly, but it does. Cut through doubt and uncertainty. Relax and focus. Clear sight is needed. Visualize your future. Love and good fortune rush toward you. Grasp these opportunities. Be a leader, but avoid arrogance. Trust the universe. You overcome obstacles. Someone new lights up your life, Gemini. I like that. Food intolerances and other allergies may underlie any physical discomfort you experience. The frequency of the stone is earthy, great for the sacral and the solar, and great for Leos, Virgos, and Sagis, and triumphing over the impossible. I like that. All right, you got two more here, Gemini. Again, if I don't pronounce them correctly, I apologize. Carnelian. Carnelian protects against glamour's spells, envy, and the evil eye. Bringing good fortune to the wearer, it prevents blood from rushing to the head to cause per uh, precipitate action. You have the ability to remain calm during disputes and the self-control not to follow the crowd. Courage in the face of danger comes from inner strength, not foolhardiness. Your family means a lot to you. Your sexual drive is strong. Lust or aggression has been a problem in a past life. Direct it toward creativity and raising kundalini. Be eloquent, creative, and bold. Do not back down. Trust your intuitive perceptions. Distinction in your career lies ahead. Be a mentor, alleviate stress, take time to play. You are a tower of strength during sorrow. Stay anchored in the present, let go of emotional ties or outdated projects holding you back. Be aware of a charismatic person. Sufficient vitamins and minerals support your metabolism for optimum well-being. The frequency of the stone is earthy to high depending on the clarity. Great for the root and the sacral and for Taurians, Cancers, Leos, Virgos, and Scorpios and expressing soul vitality. Oh boy. Okay, Gemini. Yeah, whatever this is, it feels like it's very significant. Okay, December's gonna be big for you guys. Purcelli Bluestone. Ugh. Sorry, my nasal chakra is opening. <laughs> Purcelli Bluestone's planted healing energies from the land of the ancestors into a sacred healing landscape. The stone assesses past accesses, excuse me, accesses past, present, and future. You're an ancient shaman who has much wisdom to impart and the ability to journey through multiple dimensions in search of healing. You have unshakable core stability and inner compass that directs you with integrity. Use natural medicines for ailments. Pay attention to your boundaries. Dig deep into the past. Access your memories and cut yourself free. Examine your deepest intentions and roots. Live in the present moment. 
Find your own direction and face challenges with equanimity. You have power to decide. Pay particular attention to your environment. Being true to yourself in the base is the basis of all well-being, spiritual and physical. Frequency of the stone is earthy and high. It's great for the earth star and for Taurian, Sagis, Cappies, and developing a spiritual compass here. Oh boy. Okay, Geminis. <laughs> That's a lot. Got a lot of stones right there. Okay. But let's go ahead and see why you need these crystals. Uh, why am I Geminis need these crystals for the month of December? Uh, Geminis, so we have to cut people out. That's what I'm getting. <sighs> Whatever good shit's coming into your life. It's, it's really helping you to elevate yourself and getting you to a really awesome place vibrationally. And it's really helping you to heal, like, deal with these issues with self-love and all of that. Learning to really trust your feelings and not have to overthink things so much. Like your spiritual compass, getting your spiritual compass on point. But for some of you, there's people around you inhibiting that or actually wishing you ill. Okay, so please be mindful of that. Why do my Gemini's need these stones? <laughs> Sirens. Oh, 1111 is out of the phone. Or up at the phone. Why do my Geminis need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my Geminis need these crystals for the month of December? Let's see here. Eight of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy. Not a swords in a verse, more Gemini. Could also be air of fire. Ooh, with justice and the two of wands. Yeah. Gem almost called you Libra. Gemini, you're going off into something new, something powerful is what I'm getting. Something that's going to make you feel powerful and it's something that you deserve. Some people ain't so happy that you're doing that. Okay, with Eight of Swords in a verse, I do feel like you're, you're unchaining yourself from something or someone or an old way of being or an environment. And there's drama around this unchaining of yours. Okay, but wherever you're headed, it's exactly where you need to go. It's exactly where you need to be, okay? Just trust that you're doing the right thing because I feel like, Geminis, you've been feeling this for a while, that you need to unchain yourself. And I think you might have been resisting it because you're resisting tower moments or you're resisting backlash. Um, but, oh, but it's got to happen, okay? It's got to happen. Why else do my Geminis need these crystals for the month of December? Yeah, I almost feel like people chasing you. That's so crazy. I almost feel like people chasing you as you're like as you're leaving, energetically, right? Metaphorically. Why do my Gemini's need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my Gemini's need these crystals for the month of December? Okay. So a few more cards out here. Let's see what we have. Ooh, Page of Cups in Reverse, Three of Cups in Reverse, Ooh, the Sun, Leo Energy, and then we have Magician in Reverse, which is Mercurial, so Virgo and Gemini. Also, Aqua and Squirt for me as Reader with the Death card with more Scorpionic Energy. Overall, we have a Ten of uh, Pentacles in Reverse. Almost, I heard Ten of Swords. Ten of Pentacles in Reverse, and then we have the Eight of Wands. Yeah, you're leaving some major, major stuff behind here, Gemini. So you could be leaving a home a family situation or a job and you're moving on to the next moving on to where you need to be this is an unstoppable force gemini it's going to happen you're going to do it and people want to stop you people don't want to want to see you do this they're very upset by it but it's exactly what you need to do it's exactly what you need to do and with the page of cups in a verse and the three of cups in a verse you've been you're realizing hold on get the sun in here you're realizing you've been dealing with people who are not of your vibration or people who are just flat out dishonest or emotionally immature. Page of Cups in Reverse can be a card of deceit, dishonesty, immaturity, um, even just being like upset. But I'm actually getting like, like, I'm actually getting like sniping, sniping kind of energy and Three of Cups in Reverse around a really dysfunctional uh, group of people. You're realizing that with the sun, it's being illuminated and you're putting an end to the, to the bullshit essentially with this energy you're putting an end to um the deceit even some manipulation that might have come from these people who didn't have your best interest at heart it's being illuminated to you and you know where you're going next you just have to have confidence in that you have to have confidence in that your spiritual compass is going to be put right gemini and just protect yourself from these individuals who don't want to see you go to wherever it is you're going because you're leaving something major ten of pentacles is major that's literally a home a family environment or a long-standing relationship or a long-standing social dynamic okay these could be people that you've known for a decade you know it could be your own family it could be a home you've lived in for 
a decade. <laughs> but just trust and know that what you're feeling is right. Because wherever you're going, it's going to feel pretty damn good. Okay? So yeah, Gemini's. That's what I'm getting with that. But yeah, don't let these people stop you. Don't let them stop you. You got to do what's best for you. You got to put you first before these people who are not exactly honest or authentic or who don't have your best interests at heart or who have even been manipulating you. For some, you've been manipulated by these people. Okay? All right. Libras and Aquas. Libras and Aquas. Who's going to go next? Let's see. Gemini, that actually made me kind of dizzy. Um, Libra, Aquarius. Libra, Aquarius. Libra, uh, Aquarius. Libra, Aquarius. Oh, guys, sorry. That really hit my upper chakras. Um, Aquarius, you're calling me. So Libra, you'll be last, okay? Aquarius, Aquarius. What crystals do my aquas need for the month of December? What crystals do my aquas need for the month of December? What crystals do my aquas need for the month of December? What crystals do my aquas need for the month of December? Crystals do my aquas need for the month of December? Just getting in your energy here. Aquas, you feel really quiet. <laughs> you feel really quiet. Your energy was so captivating, but I'm like, wow, you're not really saying much to me. What crystals do my aquas need for the month of December? You might be spending time in contemplation here. Yeah, I feel like you're... In, yeah, aqua, I feel like you're really, really quiet. You might be... Um, Pulling away from people a little bit to make sense of something. Yeah, you're in contemplation. You're seeking you're seeking answers here. But you're not trusting people. You're not trusting people to give you those answers. Oh shit. <laughs> Malachite and black tourmaline. Oh my. Okay. Aqua. Yeah, you ain't trusting people. You're really protecting your energy here with that black tourmaline. You feel like people might not have your best interests at heart. Well, you could be doing the Gemini. I could have that in your chart. It's very Gemini. The Well, we just got the Gemini read. It feels very similar, but this feels a little bit more intense. This feels like get the fuck away from me kind of intense here. And with that Malachite, I am getting um a lot of feminine energy. I'm getting a lot of feminine energy and a lot of sacral energy with that. Um, yeah, and trying to get insight. I'm also getting consciousness. Yeah, Aqua, whatever it is you're doing, you're kind of in contemplation mode. You're pushing people away because you're suspecting that a lot of people in your life do not have your best interests at heart and might actually be sending you negative energy or might actually be out to get you in a deceptive way. So you're keeping people at bay. You're protecting your energy. At the same time, you're working on your consciousness here. And I'm also getting your heart chakra as well. But you're trying to make sense of something. You're trying to figure out, using discernment, who's your bestie, who ain't your bestie. Now we have, oh boy, I don't know how to say that. Shiva Lingam. <laughs> That's how you say that. Shiva Lingam. Shiva Lingam. What other crystals do my aquas need for the month of December? Oh, aqua. Where are we? We got four crystals out here now. I was like, are we going to break the record with five? Nope. <laughs> golden healer okay so air signs clearly you're going to be having a very interesting month as well but let's go ahead and get into this yeah i feel a major major need to like to heal the heart space specifically i'm getting a major mistrust of other people like major major mistrust maybe something came to light aqua that made you realize oh shit people are after me or people are, are deceptive or i got a lot of snakes in the grass that i got to deal with here um i'm also getting some family stuff that really needs to oh there it is some of you are realizing you get snakes in your family, okay, that you have to deal with. I'm getting healing around family, specifically with that golden healer energy. But let's go ahead and get into reading these uh, crystals out loud, all right? There's something health-wise going on here, and I can't pinpoint what it is. It could just be in the reproductive area that you might need to pay attention, Aqua. I'm getting health. I am getting health, but it's like, I feel like it's minor. I don't think it's as bad as it might seem. I think you're going to get a clean bill of health, but I think something might happen that you do have to take care of, but I think it, everything will be fine. I feel like for some of you, it's just the reproductive system. 
And like I said, it feels minor. It doesn't feel major. It does not feel major at all. Some might even, it might even be um, the nervous system. Some might even be the nervous system. Anyway, Malachite, the subconscious mind. Malachite brings to light ingrained programming and toxic beliefs. An amulet against pain. This is a powerful stone for emotional transformation. It stimulates the survival instinct. Unconscious programs or beliefs such as psycho cause psychosomatic disease go willingly into depths therapy may be needed your deepest fears become your greatest gifts as hidden abilities come to light go where angels fear to tread to bring back insights for your own healing and that of others explore your depths danger threatens not all is as it seems stand firm in your power and have no fear you survive protect yourself against unseen forces or powerful minds that manipulate you learn psychic protection take a course to call up past life skills spread your wings do not become embroiled with a charismatic man Ooh, detoxifying your mind body and emotions and recognizing deep psychosomatic cause of disease are a path to well-being the frequency of the sun is earthy to high great for the heart the root the sacral and the solar plexus and for scorpios and transforming your subconscious mind oh boy okay all right so moving on to black tourmaline absorbs negative energy and affords excellent energetic protection enhancing your psychic vitality you are an adaptive you are adaptive adjusting to new places and new situations you have clarity of thought and analyze situations rapidly let go of over consciousness but stay protected your sense you sense it when people wish you ill you may be carrying a family or past life curse creating disease recognize the negative thoughts and actions harm yourself and others strengthen your protection Consolidate plans and be realistic. You'll soon see the way through obstacles. Ensure you're well protected. Ill wishing or envy may be directed your way. Neutralize bad energy without harm to others. Watch your thoughts. Attend to practical matters. Be generous and give others freedom. Neutralizing toxic energies from your environment. Shielding yourself from ill wishing or EMF stress and detoxifying your body supports well-being. The frequency of the sun is earthy. It's great for the root and the earth star and for Capricorns and appropriate energy shielding and enhancement. Very nice. All right, now let's get into the Shiva Lingam. Yeah, so you guys are really feeling like you ain't trusting people for shit, okay? <laughs> That's honestly what I'm getting with that. You don't trust people for shit right now. And maybe your alarm bells went off with someone in particular or many people in your life. And for a lot of you, I do think it's actually family, okay? Shiva Lingam embodies the wisdom of the deities brought to earth it symbolizes uniting dualities and manifesting the creative force be compassionate with yourself to heal you have masculine and feminine and other dualities with your being integrate these to release your creative power a shiva lingam is produced from the tumbling waters life shapes you in the same way so go with the flow soul scoring reveals your divine core if you if you were hurt or abused be compassionate with yourself to create healing on all levels Get back to the basics and put passion back into your life. Honor your libido and create a fire. Create balance. Expect a new relationship. Ooh, or revitalize an old one. Practice sexual magic. Cut ties where appropriate. Remember you create the power of thought. Everything passes. In a turbulent time, unexpected benefits emerge. True relationship transcends earthy exper earthly experience. It is rooted in soul unification and unconditional love. The frequency of the sun is earthy and high. It's great for the root the sacral and the highest crown. It's great for Scorpios and tantric union of opposites. Oh, I like that that's in there. I like that that's in there. Some of you might actually be meeting someone or um, again, I mentioned an old older lover um, that actually might help you with this healing process and help you also protecting yourself against other energies and other people. Okay. Golden healer, ultimate healing. Golden healers are imbued with powerful, transformative healing energies. They are a catalyst for profound spiritual activation. Understanding the quantum world helps you understand yourself. The everyday self is bounded by five senses, expanded by a six. Metaphysics. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is getting tired. But this can be transcended to move into a field that is non-local, everywhere and nowhere at once. Where there is no time, you create the event being observed. Allow your soul rather than your ego to be your guide. Recognize your potential to be an amazing healer. Your ability is needed honing and those who heal are soul scored to develop empathy. Much in your life needs transforming. Surrender willingly to the process. Someone clinging to the past holds you back. Encourage them to let go. You may be asked to transform your environment or take on challenging tasks. Do so with grace and ease. Healing flows through you. It is a process, not something you do. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high. Great for the soul star and stellar gateway and for channeling the Christ consciousness. Ooh, aqua. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull some cards out here. 
why do my aquas need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my aquas need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my aquas need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my aquas need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my aquas need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my aquas need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my ooh, we got eight of wands in reverse, Sag energy. So there's some delays going on here. This is delayed movement and also it's really terrible miscommunication. I'm getting it's more of a delay though. More of a delay and a lot of resistance. I feel like this is you. I I feel like you're pushing people out because people are causing delays in your life. Could be one person in particular. Yeah, I'm almost like your phone is blowing up, Aqua. Yeah, it's almost like your phone is blowing up or like so many people want a piece of you. It's like that's making your alarm bells go off. Like what's going on here? Why do my aquas need these crystals? You might be even be blocking people, like actively blocking people. Why do my aquas need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my aquas need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my aquas need these crystals for the month of December? Page of Wands. Someone gets through. <laughs> The eight of wands and where's the page of wands? There's one person sticking out of the crowd. That's what that feels like to me. There's one wand you're willing to listen to. There's one wand that you're actually going to listen to and hear out, hear what they have to say. It does feel very positive. It even feels kind of fun and flirty. It might even be the person here who um, might be helping you heal. I do feel a little bit of sexual healing with that. You might be healing some sexual trauma, Aqua. Ooh. We got the devil in reverse, Capricorn energy. Okay, I'm I'm actually really loving this. I'm loving this, Aqua. I'm loving this for you. With the Eight of Wands in reverse, you're pushing a lot of people away. You're not trusting people right now. Your alarm bells are going off, but there's one person in particular who's sticking out of all those Eight of Wands. There's one out of the eight, or however many people are hitting you up. But with the devil in reverse, it's like they're coming clean. There's something about what they say that's clean. That's so weird. It's clean. Their words are clean. Their energy is clean. Yeah, it's very interesting. It's, it's, I almost want to say pure. Huh. I, I like this person, Aqua. I like them. And I think you like them too, which is why you're letting them through out of all the other people you're blocking out here. Um, they could be younger than you. It could be a very young energy. It doesn't have to be. If this is someone that you've known for a long time, it could be someone that you did have some karmic shit with or some kind of resistance with and whatever they're saying again it's clean clean whatever it is they're saying is releasing that if there is any of that for you between you and this person why else do my aquas need these crystals all right so we got a few more cards out here oh oh ho, 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 ho. ace of pentacles with the eight of pentacles in verse and the eight of cups two eights right next to each other by the way we got virgo and pisces right there the one sevens of each other Wow. Whatever, whoever this person is, they're coming with an offer or even a possible gift in hand. Could even be a second start or a second chance at something. Um, but I feel like it's a very stable opportunity. Almost, yeah, I'm like, it feels really yummy. It feels really positive. It feels very friendly. It feels very welcoming. And I feel like they're actually helping you. It feels like help. It feels a little bit like aid. Let me get into this Eight of Pentacles in reverse and this Eight of Cups. There's fogginess around this. I don't know why that, that is. There's fogginess around this. Whatever this offer is, it might be a work opportunity to get you to stop doing whatever it is you're doing and go off into something else with them. Something could have happened at work, Aqua, where you're feeling the need to really push a lot of people out. And maybe your work situation is disintegrating. And whatever this person and whoever this person is, they're coming clean or coming in a clean energy or clean words it's so interesting that it's coming out clean um to help you out of that situation to help you to move on to something better eight of cups always leads to the ten eight always leads to the ten some of you might turn this offer away some of you might but i think most of you're going to take it I, I really feel like it's help 
its help, its aid. For most of you, it's in the realm of work or money. Overall energy, we do have the hangman, Piscean energy. So needing to like take a pause and really figure this out. Underneath that, we do have the nine of swords, okay? Gemini energy. So there's, yeah, there's a lot of like worry, like late night worries. Late night. Interesting. Late night worries here. Aqua, something has happened in your environment. And if it hasn't happened yet, it's, it's most likely going to happen in December, whoever's resonating with this. That causes you to go on the alert, causes you to push people out, push people away. And someone is here trying to help you. Clean. Clean. I keep getting clean. Yeah, they're offering you a helping hand to get you up and out. To get you up and out because you are up late trying to figure shit out. How this happened, whatever happened. Yeah, um, yeah, that's really what I'm feeling. Something's happened with your environment, work or home. Feels like work or home. It's caused you to mistrust a lot of people in your life. You're pushing people out. This person's getting through to you. They're getting through to you and they're giving you a helping hand. So decide how you feel about that. But I feel like it's really positive And I feel like it's also a very healing experience for you while you block all these other energies out. Okay. I, I know. Sorry. It's kind of positive. I think that's a really nice little positive read right there. Libras. Nast. Nast. <laughs> Last but not least. Last but not least. Libra. What crystals do my Libras need for the month of December? What crystals do my Libras need for the month of December? What crystals do my Libras need for the month of December? What crystals do my Libras need for the month of December? Libra, 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 Libra. Oh, you feeling very alpha today, Libra. Not surprised, not surprised, you cardinal sign. Mm. Yeah, feeling very alpha. Needing to stay on top or be on top? Interesting. Yeah, either needing to get to the top or maintain your position on top is what I'm getting with that, actually. Yeah, Libra. What crystals do my Libras need for the month of December? Why are you, are you feeling threatened, Libra? Oh, geez. Priscilla Bluestone, needing to really uh, get your, your compass fixed, your spiritual compass fixed. Uh, keep in mind, guys, so when we get repeats, I don't repeat the descriptions. Uh, oh, shoot. Who had this? I already forgot who had this because I'm so in your energy. Gemini had this. Yeah, Gemini. Gemini had this. So go ahead and look at Gemini. It will be timestamped if you want to get the description for this one. Um, yeah, I just, I don't like to repeat because it, you know, takes more energy. And I don't really, you know, need to reserve my energy. So yeah, needing to really fix your spiritual compass here. Um, but in relation to being on top, staying on top here. I'm not taking those. What other crystals do my Libras need for the month of December? You might be finding yourself in a situation here um, that needs quick uh, a quick resolve or a quick uh, paying attention to or addressing, a quick addressing of. What other crystals do my Libras need for the month of December? What other crystals do my Libras need for the month of December? Oh, shit. Okay, that's it. Libra, that ain't too bad. You got one. You got one, and it's basically making your compass right. But like I said, I don't like to repeat descriptions, but this is the one stone that you do have. So here you go, so you guys can look at it, write it down, take a screenshot, whatever you need to do here. I am getting a mastery energy about this. <sighs> yeah, it just feels like needing to be a leader. Needing to be a leader, needing to show people what you can do, and needing their self-respect. But there's something about your compass that's off about this, Libra. Maybe you might be going about it in the wrong way and you need to like really readdress and kind of check in with yourself on how to go about it. I got to be honest, Libra, I'm feeling a little bit of ego with that. I'm feeling a little pride. I'm feeling a little pride here. Like I am the baddest bitch in the room and you better know it kind of pride. So just watch that. Watch the cockiness. Not going to be for all of you, of course. Let's see what else I'm going to get in. I just want to see what else I can get intuitively before I get into the cards. You're needing to step into your power on something. I feel like there's been a tower moment or some kind of kerfuffle that's demanding you do this. 
giving you the window to do it, but it feels like something that you really, it feels like divine timing. Whatever this kerfuffle is, whether it's maintaining your position or leveling up to that position, it's supposed to happen. You're supposed to do it. And I feel like in a way you're proving something to yourself, but some of you are falling in that shadowy ego side where it's like, I need to prove it to other people, you know, like instead of just, no, you just got to do it for you, right? So again, just watch that. That's not for everybody. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the cards and see why you need this crystal. And like I said, Gemini had it. Overall, though, I feel like your December is going to be really positive for you, Libra. I do feel a little bit of anger, though, so don't cuss anybody out, okay? <laughs> yeah, I feel like someone ruffled your feathers, almost like they challenged you. Called you, Like, try to call you out or try to challenge you. Ooh, Libra. Oh, here we go. And it's about how you're going to handle it. Be very careful how you handle this, Libra, because for some of you, it's about maintaining your position of where you are, at, like, most likely at work or even, like, in a family situation or kind of, like, a higher... Um, hierarchy sort of situation here so just be mindful of that others it's to challenge you to step it up okay to step it up it's gonna be a chance to raise your vibration here just make sure you go about it the right way why do my Libras need this crystal for the month of December why do my Libras need this crystal for the month of December Why do my Libras need this crystal for the month of December? Why do my Libras need this crystal for the month of December? Why do my Libras need this crystal for the month of December? Why do my Libras need this crystal for the month of December? Why do my Libras need this crystal for the month of December? Ooh, not a wand. Sag energy could also be Aries or Leo. This is a very, <laughs> getting a lot of confidence off of this person. I was about to say this is a cocky motherfucker, but I'm just, it's a lot of confidence. A lot of confidence here. Someone who's very sure of themselves. It's, it's so funny. This is someone who's like, not that, not that it's fake confidence, but just like they come in so firm and they know so like they just they just look like they they know what they're doing. That's what it is. They look like they know what they're doing. So they just command the attention in the room. But they're a knight. A knight doesn't always know what they're doing. A knight kind of learns as they go. OK, they're, this is someone who's learning as they go, but they're doing it confidently. But because they do it confidently, it seems like they know more than they actually do. That's what it is. It seems like they know more than they actually do. Why do my Libras need this crystal for the month of December? Keep in mind, it is Sag season, so. Why do my Libras need this crystal for the month of December? Oh, geez. Eight of Wands in reverse. <laughs> Sag energy. Uh, breaking away. This is someone breaking away. I don't think they're running away. People might. Can, people might talk shit about this person like they're running away from something, but they're not. They're breaking away. It actually feels very, like a very smart move. Libra, this could very well be you. Why do my Libras need this crystal? Why do my Libras need this crystal for the month of December? Oh, man, really? Three of Swords. I might use a clarifier on this one. Oh. Well, there you go. Pain and heartbreak here. Pain and heartbreak. Why do my Libras need this crystal for December? Libra, someone might have taken a cheap shot at you. Oh, but look at that. <laughs> Justice with the uh, with the Six of Wands, Jupiter Leo energy. Uh, you're going to be just fine, Libra. You're going to have justice. You'll be fine. Um, okay, I see exactly what's going on here. So right, back, right smack dab in the middle, we have the Three of Swords. Pain, heartbreak, a lot of pain, actually. I'm feeling a lot of pain on either side. Hold on, hold it like this, because that's how it actually is on my board. And right in the middle, we've got the Three of Swords. If I had an extra hand, I'd hold it right in the middle. Okay, so just imagine the Three of Swords over my face. So we have an energy here. They're leaving a situation. They might be perceived as running away. But then we have someone over here who's being very victorious. 
So we got a loser and we got a winner. And I do feel like it's because someone was challenged here. Libra, I feel like you're the one being challenged. Since we have justice with the six of wands, I do feel like you might be coming out victorious. But keep in mind, it can be vice versa. So careful on how you handle this. So careful on how you handle this situation, okay? Someone will win. Someone will lose. No matter what, there's going to be pain about it. No matter what, there's going to be pain. But someone's going to come out with justice on their side and someone's going to just leave okay over energy we have the king of swords in reverse aquarian energy could also be gemini or libra underneath that we do have the world so something brand new something brand new here new here but i don't like the king of swords in reverse i don't like that it's usually a selfish energy a narcissistic energy or it could just mean uh miscommunication or lack of communication i i actually um, Yeah, I do feel like it's someone actually is a little selfish. Someone who's a little selfish and a little narky, a little bit of a manipulator, even a liar. So Libras, I, like I said, I do want to clarify this because it's very clear to me. Someone's getting challenged. Someone's going to win. Someone's not going to win. And I don't usually like using those terms, but that's exactly how this feels. So let's look at the three of swords here and see how that's going down. Uh, and then we're going to go and wrap this up. So I have this three of swords energy. So I have the Three of Swords energy for Libra. A lot of fire here. A lot of fire here. Tell me the Three of Swords. Actually, we only have fire and air. Those are the only elements we have right out here right now. Tell me the Three of Swords for Libra. For the month of December. Star in reverse, Aquarian energy. Someone going to deal with an aqua, but not necessarily. That's total loss of faith in a situation. I feel like a situation's done. Whoever this is, Libra, whatever this challenge is, it seems like it's 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 really putting a finite end to something. Tell me about this Three of Swords. Eight of Swords and Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Someone feels like they made a mistake here. Someone feels like they made a major mistake. Tell me about this Three of Swords. Tell me about this Three of Swords. Oh, jeez. Tell me about this Three of Swords. Oh, my God. Tell me about the Three of Swords for Libra. The clarifiers that are coming out here are ridiculous. Tell me about this Three of Swords. let's look at these first so we have a knight of cups in a verse with a king of pentacles right in the middle and then we have a knight of swords on the either end of it here and then we have a knight of pentacles in a verse with a six of pentacles here so whoever this knight of pentacles is it's like it's slow to get justice slow to find balance okay that's all, that's all that is but this i don't like this i don't like this libra i actually feel like this is you even though it's earth energy i actually like this is you in the middle minding your own damn business Minding your own business, hard at work, very stable, very confident. And I feel like you might actually be dealing with two individuals here. With a Knight of Swords in reverse, a Knight of Cups in reverse. I mean, this is just, ugh. This is usually someone who doesn't approach things at the right emotional space. Someone who's very inappropriate with their emotions. Either they do outbursts or they're manipulative. Knight of Swords in reverse is a very dramatic person, okay? Very dramatic, very nasty with their words. And look, you're right smack dab in the middle. This could indicate a third party situation as well. Yeah, I feel like you're getting ganged up on Libra. I feel like you're getting you're getting ganged up on by more immature energies, by more immature energies who might even been um, manipulative about it, plotting together even plotting together. Yeah. And you feel like justice for this is coming in really slow, but it's going to happen. It's going to happen. I feel like it's going to be a sense of embarrassment. I feel like these people, these people, if it, you're dealing with two people, you're dealing with two people. If you're dealing with one, you're dealing with one. Some of you, it's definitely two. Um, either way. I feel like they're they're going to be the party that's going to have to leave a situation or be embarrassed and have to like exit, have to exit because someone's made a clear mistake. You might feel you made a mistake dealing with these people. I feel like you know them, Libra. I feel like you know them. But you're going to have justice in the situation, okay? It might just be slow to come. It might be slow to come, but it will come. Stay strong. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Overall energy, we do have justice in reverse. Eee. And then six of cups, whoa, six of cups in reverse, Jesus. And the page of swords in reverse. 
Yeah, I feel like someone's been manipulating you. One or two energies have been in if it's two people, they've been in cahoots with each other. Uh, manipulating you, lying to you. Could be uh, people you really cared about, people you had a lot of love for. I feel envy. I just heard envy. Envy. They might be very envious of you, Libra, and that's why they're ganging up on you like this. But you will get justice. It's just going to be slow to come. You might feel like, damn, I can't believe I let that happen to me, or I can't believe I let them deceive me. What a mistake. You might even feel a little trapped in fear for a while. And a lot of like lack of hope in the situation, especially if it's at work and affecting your work. And it's going to be slow to come, but it will come. Even if you have to move on in a very physical way, Six of Wands can be very physical. Even if you have to move on from the situation in a physical way, like maybe you have to change jobs or what have you, but you're going to be fine. You're going to be okay, even if these clowns want to challenge you, okay? I really feel like they're going to be on the losing end of this after pulling these clarifiers, but take it as it resonates. You're going to be fine. Keep your spiritual compass strong. Keep it strong. And just be be very cautious of how you react. I feel like it could easily flip into you having to leave a situation out of embarrassment because these people are very manipulative and they might have been plotting this for a long time. Okay? All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope you found it insightful and helpful. Don't forget to go on Patreon and Instagram and Vimeo and I will see you guys later, okay? Namaste.